So I was called to um, diagnose this vehicle and I found out that the issue that I'm facing is due to um, wrong firmware. So I'm trying to use the Chrysler J25 Flash application to do the writing, uh, to write the correct firmware onto the ECU. Onto the ECU, but it looks like I encounter some errors which prevent me from doing what I have to do. The error prevents me from writing the data onto the ECU. So try again and see if it will fail again. And it failed again. So I'm getting uh, file processing fail invalid DT, uh, DTD. So with this, uh, now that I'm having this failure, I'm not able to. So with this car, uh, the fan is always active. It looks like the fan is direct whereby the fan is not direct is due to the wrong firmware on the system on the ecu so now that i've tried several times and the chrysler j25 flash application is not helping me out the best thing to do is now i have to go and find for the cda software to do that job so now that i've logged in into and moreover I, what i'm using is the clone version i'm using the clone vci which is the mopa vci so i'll just allow it to connect and you can see the connection on the floor so that's the jpac 3 ecu that i'm about to flash i'm about to flash so with this one i just select the pcm and wait for it to communicate with it and see if it will feel communicating with the pcm if it fails then i'll know what to do yes it looks like it has failed and it failed because um i have not connected a 120 ohm resistor to it so you need to connect a 120 ohm resistor so i prefer using um godak they have another device way by they call it uh, godak um, gpt with that one it has the 120 resistor as a button that you press and it will work but with this one with the godak breakout box which doesn't have the 120 what i have to do now is now i have to find a 120 ohm resistor and connect it to it so that i'll be able to communicate with the jpac 3 ecu and uh, so that i can flash and change the calibration so i'll pause it and bring you guys back when i'm done with the resistor that i've added to it so now that i'm done adding the resistor let's do the connection again and let me check the DTC. If it gives me DTC, that means my connection is successfully done. So, what I want to do is I want to flash. So, with this one, they have other options. They have the input, output, um, onboard, onboard routine, and other things. So, we can go through it later. So, this one is like... So, the onboard routine is like a special function that allows you to do the special function with the ECU. So um, my my main important thing is to flash the uh, the PCM with the correct firmware. So this one, I'll go to flash and select my correct firmware. Whereby I use the VIN number to download it from Tech Authority site. I think I'll give you I'll do a video on how to do that download. So select the right firmware, then do the start flash, and wait for it to finish flashing the ecu you just click on ok then the cda Ooh. so um, when you are using the chrysler um when you are using the chrysler j25 device flash application normally what you do is you need uh, what we call you you need another file which contains the part number and everything that's what the system used to do the calibration but if you don't have that one don't worry when you are having the cda you can just you need only that flash file or that firmware to do the update so now that it's about to start the flash i'll wait for it to finish flashing the ecu then with this one i'll go and place it on the vehicle and see if when it starts my fan my fan issue will be solved and my Four uh, four sending unit second secondary four sending unit will also go up because this flash that I'm using is for 
front wheel drive vehicles not for 4x4 vehicles and it should fix a lot of issues on my vehicle so with this one i'll zoom it out so that you can see the process and the steps so it also works like the uh, j25 uh, chrysler j25 application but just that you can't use the j25 um, vci for this communication or for this software to communicate with the ecu so you have to get the mopa or the the mopa or the vci the mopa vci so that you can work with it so i'll wait for it to write all the data onto the ecu and it took i think like five to seven minutes for this to be done successfully so it's now flashing and it's now at 23 percent so I'll wait for it to finish everything so that now so I'm trying I'm planning of uh, doing live sections whereby uh, we will interrupt together so that we can see if we can solve certain fault codes that you bring up in the comment section during our, our live section so I'm, I'm I'm holding on a bit to do that live session maybe once in every month we go through some fourth codes and some case studies online for like an hour or something and then maybe later we go we build a site so that we can communicate uh, we can teach other people how to go about this job properly so i'll wait for the flash to finish and we have other tools that you can use to change certain configuration on something like the alpha obd and i think they have one they call i think j scan that one also is good for chrysler vehicles but i don't have those two so i need to do it the proper way even if i change the configuration it will still not affect the fan but with the correct and the right firmware the fan will be okay everything should be okay from here so i'll, I'll do the after video or after i finish the flashing when i placed it on the vehicle the video when i placed it on the vehicle the results that i got uh, I'll, I'll do a video on it after i'm done flashing the ecu so with this it looks like it is done now so i'll turn off the ignition and turn it back on and click on ok so it will request me turning it back on and when it requests then i turn it back on so that is the part number needed for that ecu yes and i'll click on ok so as i said the j25 device need you to add edit the uh, file they have uh, i think it's the file looks like a text file you have to edit it and add the part number if the part number is not included in the firmware that you are flashing and i did that and i tried and it was not working so what i'll do now is um i'm done with the flash so i'll disconnect it i'll read the fourth code and make sure that i'm no i'm no longer having that fourth code which says the secondary fuel system issue so i'm done with it and you can see with this one you go to uh, onboard routines to check so you use it as to activate certain things and others so the i slash o um means it's like an active test section for you to use to test certain things certain components on the ecu and also this one you just go through it to see Sometimes even if you want to enable because I remember I used it to do one ECU that had the VIN number locked. So I unlocked it and I was able to write the current and the new uh, the current and the old VIN onto the ECU, making both of them match this like making both of them the same thing. So now with this one what I'll do is I'll hold on. So I think I'm almost done. I'm just going through to see if there is any function that I need to activate. And you can see this on board. This I see it to be the special function of the CDA because it has most of the functions in the special function of some of the aftermarket scan tool. 
so if you can see then you go to the pdi there and you can also write the data or the calibration data down which when you see it at the side they are the written calibration so thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so you see you unlocking then this calibration so you can do this calibration then this one also you can go through if you want to read or write certain pdi uh, pids so with this one i call it a fix i'll go and place it on the vehicle and start it and see if my fan will be off my check engine light will go off then if it does that then that means it is fixed thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos and i would like you to comment on the day that you think i can come live